This is a review on the Ford Transit Custom short wheelbase called the Odyssey. Short wheelbase high top, just under four metres in length. Polyvision Aero windows. These are 700 by 350, top hinged. You've got your whale water master pump. Sits in there, runs on 12 volts. Pull that down, it'll latch onto it. You've got your 240 volt in the side. Uh, and then your waste outlet as well, because we don't have waste inside the vans. We don't have water inside the vans just to free up the storage space. There's the waste outlet. It's just a case of attach your hose on. You know, we only leave the waste outside because obviously if you're washing up and there's bits of food going down there and you've got it plugged, you've got it plumbed in underneath your kitchen unit and you don't empty it straight away, you know, because obviously you want to fill it up before, you don't want to keep emptying it every five minutes. Just stops the smell from inside your van. And that's just as simple as lift up the flap, pop that in, locates at the top, pull the pull the lid back down and it just it locks that in. Drop it in your waste container. Oh, sorry, waste container, your fresh water. Job done, it's all outside. So inside we've got two single rear seats and we've got the two single front seats, driver and passenger. Okay, so that's your control panel up above. It's a sergeant control panel. Flick it down to your leisure, that's your leisure battery gauge for your voltage you can turn that on and off and then you've got your switches for your water pump your lighting your auxiliary the fridge works off the auxiliary and uh, so do the usb ports and the 12 volt power sockets with the aerial 240 next to those we've got the same on the back kitchen wall so just there again less the aerial this time the roof vent is a 400 by 400 mpk that uh, with the handle operation, you pull down, slide towards the front of the van, multi places to stop. Again, pull down, locks into place, you get your light blind and fly screen. The kitchen unit's a SMEV 9 treble 2, left handed sink with a cold tap. Right-handed twin burner, the push-button piazzo. Nice big worktop. Again, you've got your switch lighting. Loads of storage in the kitchen unit now. So we've got the two doors with a shelved off area. You've got a lower door, pots, pans, sieves, kettles. Loads of space under there. Got your pull out drawer, knives, forks, spoons. This is the gas bottle storage. Gas drop hole, fully sealed. There is uh, an inline gas tap as well to isolate it. Fridge, Dometic CRX50. So it's a 50 litre fridge. Your storage compartments down the bottom you've got an ice ice box at the top above that we've got a large wardrobe uh, with a hanging rail also in the top corner up there that's where the aerial booster is for the tv so that's your provision gazelle aerial booster which is mounted on the roof this is the tv bracket so it's just, it's only a small one. It only comes out a couple of inches, but it's perfect for a 19 inch TV. And then you've got your power points for it, aerial, like I say, USB 12 volt, even 240 if it runs off that. Also in there, um, and we'll show you those, is the infills for the double bed. So up above, we got a bowl, cup, uh, plate racks, Uh, you got your bits and bobs, soggy jars, tea, coffee, sugar, salt, pepper, placemats, 
moving further down, so that's two. We've got four in total. Yeah, nice, you know, loads of space in there. And then you get a little one further at the front. And then finally, as we come round towards the front then, that's the over cab store. You get oh, king size quilt in there, double sleeping bags. I mean, I don't suppose you can see, it's all, it's all insulated and it's all carpeted. So again, everything, it's all so warm. Oh, I don't know if you can quite see in there. This little contraption, uh, we made this for, so because the worktop, obviously when you're cooking or you're cleaning or what have you, we just use this and all that does is that just pops over your drawer. Just give you a bit of extra work surface. Any dirty pots and pans while you're washing up, put your plates on to serve up. So down on the side of the rear driver's side seat, we've got the Whitney plinth heater, 700 watt. And that works only on 240 electric. Um, and the switch to power that is just there. Just so you can access that when you're in bed, if you want to lean your hand over, you can turn it on and off, you know, if you want to get it nice and toasty before you get up in the morning, or if you're having it on in the night time, you can just lean over, turn it off. So the two front seats are on the rib swivel bases. Um, and all it's a case of, there's a lever down here, down at the front, down there, that lever. So if you just push that across and then just start the swivel off, you want to pull the seat all the way forwards and make sure it's on its highest setting, which it is. And that just literally swivels round to face the rear seat. Just push it back so it's level with the step. So at this point now, we can either, I mean, you can sit, you can relax, you can recline these, you can put your feet up. Uh, dining position wise, this is what we normally go for this side, just so it doesn't stop access from getting in and out the vehicle. You've got your table leg. Just slots in that hole. Again, you can do all this while you're sitting down, you know, there's no need to be standing up, moving stuff around. It's just, everything's practical, easy to use. Table base. There we go, dining table. So from the outside looking in the privacy glass, it's very, very dark, so it's hard to see in, but looking from the inside out, it looks quite clear. That's the beauty of privacy glass windows. So you've got your blinds again, same as the skylight, and you've got your fly screens. Top hinge windows, just release the two latches. You've got your stays, just wind those. Let that fresh air in. And it's the same on the side loading door as well. Now sleeping wise, you can either have the option of two single beds, uh, or like this one's been upgraded to have the full double bed. And very easy again, very easy operation. Let's just get rid of these cushions for a second. We just lie this lie the cushion forward it's up they're on a push and pull hinges so you just push and pull pull it out as far as it'll come just misses that table base might have to just go a little bit further back with that one i mean if you want to just look inside there that's where the heater is you've got your 240 consumer unit you've got your supercharged system as well so just going back to making up the bed it's just a case of you drop that Small infill there. Roll this one round. Drop it in. That's your single bed. You can probably get a little bit more length out of that as well. And then the same over this side. Let's just push that back a little. Drop it forwards. Take it off. Push, pull. So you can either, I mean, you can have this as a bench seat if you wanted to and just put that one back as a single. So you, I mean, at this point, you can swivel those seats back round if you're just having a short stay and just have, have this as a bench seat. 
and you can do, you can both just relax on here nicely again without turning any of this round you can put that back as a single or you've got you got yourself two comfortable six foot six foot long beds i mean i haven't put you down there yet nicely i'm six foot one but i mean who sleeps in a straight line anyway so then just coming back to the upgrade that this one's had and that's where the infills come in they live in the wardrobe but i mean there's still loads of room to get um to get all your clobber in there hanging up on that on that rail and that's just case of, that sits on that metal pole and that shifty that one forward that one lives in there I mean, and that then makes that this is then five foot across oh you sleep eight like it five foot across by six foot long apart from that area there it's where we tend to put our feet i mean you can put your heads there again with the with the forward seats you can pivot them up and down so you can make that a lot flatter than what it is that's just the driving position that it's in um but yeah loads of room get to all your gear still still get up at the back middle of the night you want to get up or well, first thing in the morning we're getting up we're making a brew you can still lounge about no rush to put anything away whatsoever nice practical easy to use comfortable loads of space and then uh, we'll open the back doors and we'll show you the uh, toilet this one again it's got the tow bar fitted with the vehicle specific electrics uh, for towing it's got a reversing camera as well which is handy for reversing because we've got no back windows okay then looking at the van from the back you can see the color of the furniture now i mean the sky blue so nice lightens up the van gives it a lovely effect a couple of coat hooks on the back door that'll drape right to the ground so you can get your raincoats little shelf up there the toiletries there's already some toilet roll up there i think poppy dust brushes bit of soap again another hook this is that's the strip light for the toilet area that i've just turned off at the front is your towel rail for your tea towels And then this compartment here that's where your toilet lives automatic 965 with the flush enough room for your toilet chemicals pair of gloves and the the, the way to get it out so again when this door is shut there's enough room still there that just leans up against that door but it will only come down to a stay that's on there and again emptying the toilet it's as simple as lift out the sliding compartment just locate that out of the way for a few minutes and that'll just pull straight out from the handle that just slides in there job done you never even know it was there now if you want a bit of privacy this door here is what exactly what that's for. So on the toilet, bit of privacy, just slide it across. Get full privacy. I mean, you can take the toilet out if you wanted to and have it as extra storage. That cubicle can be removed. You've got enough space there for probably an electric um, mobility scooter. Any extra luggage you wanted to take, you know, if you're going to stay on a site that's got toilets and you don't need that, we only use that because it's middle of the night and especially with what's going on at the moment, all the sites, the toilets are shut. Uh, that is ideal. And again, just slide the door back. Out of the way. And it doesn't actually get in the way of anything because it's only on the end of the wardrobe.
plied and carpeted everywhere. We use rock wool insulation behind all the panels. Uh, and in the winter, in the summer, I mean, we we stayed in uh, Christmas, Christmas night, and we needed the heater on for literally half an hour, because once the warmth's in, it doesn't escape. Nice and toasty. This is the short wheelbase Transit Custom High Top. Uh, we do it in a long wheelbase version as well. So again, it's the same height, same layout. The only thing you gain, it's around about 400 mil. So you get an extra 400 mil of worktop and kitchen space. And then another 400 of just extra space at the back. So we can either utilize that with another cupboard, make the wardrobe slightly deeper. That's what we're doing with the, with the one that we're building at the minute. Wider wardrobe, bigger kitchen unit, same layout, same everything, same spec. Everything in here will work, apart from the 240 volt heater, everything works off 12 volt or the gas. It's got a 140 amp split charge relay, professionally fitted. So it'll charge at almost the same rate as you, what your alternator is kicking out for your vehicle battery. It doesn't take long to charge your leisure battery. And again, with the low consumption LEDs, the, the, the fridge, because that's all that's going to be on really for a, quite a while, that reduces, uh, it does say on there, 25% less in night mode. So, and it's so, so quiet when it's operating during the night. So if you want any more information on a build like this, on a Transit Custom, GB Camper Conversions, based in Tamworth. Website's gbcamperconversions.com. We're based in Tamworth, Staffordshire. There's contact page on there. Any questions about this conversion or any other conversion, uh, please feel free to contact us on that page.